Hi, good afternoon. This time we are in Culine da Seca, another urbanization around Tevira. We are lucky. This urbanization is on the south of Strada Nacional 125. Make it easier to just walk to town. Well, honestly, the way to the, to the city is quite easy. The way up, because this is located on a hill, is not for everyone. Plenty of steps. But apart from that, you have beautiful villas like the ones we have on the back that could really illustrate the, the, the scenario you'll be facing in here. You have some apartments, you have beautiful uh, uh, townhouses with quite a few levels. So this will be ideal for a big family that has some kids that would like to have uh, to enjoy the, the, the different levels of the house in order to provide privacy for the whole family. Most of these houses have four bedrooms, uh, a small uh, little garden on the back and uh, they can park ahead of the house. Apart from these houses, you also have bigger plots with massive houses. And you all also have some apartments, some of them with a beautiful sea view and um, overlooking town. And this is a very um, quiet neighborhood with, uh, again, a multi multicultural uh, location with plenty of nationalities, most of them living all year round, which is important. And this is a dead end urbanization, which means no one else will be driving around here unless they actually live in here. Uh, something else. Some of the houses that are located on our right at the end of this urbanization will be facing the hill. So it's really massive views. Um, prices, of course, differ very much from the apartments that we can see on the left to the townhouses and to the big uh, detached villas. What can I say about uh, Urbanização Clina da Seca? It's uh, um, not one of the most expensive, but also not one of the cheapest ones, okay? Again, you have uh, uh, most of the apartments will be with uh, two or three bedrooms, while the villas are all four bedrooms and above. So not very nice if you were just coming, the two of you, or just for a, a, an older couple. In the middle of this urbanization, we have a beautiful building with some apartments uh, that have an inside um, grass field with a pool, so it makes, it makes it really perfect for summer. In summer, of course, it's more busy with some tourists. You have some allusionment local, which means some Airbnb. But in most cases, especially if you're not speaking about August, it's quite a peaceful area to live and not so far from Tevira. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, urbanization and if you are interested, we have quite a few houses here for sale. So just let me know. Wow, that was a huge, <laughs> very nice exercise. Anyway, totally worth it. Have a look at the view we have around here. We can see the river and look what's next. Old Town is waiting for you over there with plenty of restaurants and the view is while walking there is absolutely adorable. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do because this is one of my favorite places to live. Well, but in the end, after all that steps, it's really worth it. Have a look at the wonderful view we have in here and taking consideration city is just around the corner.